Rude Van Nistelrooy, Manchester United legend as a player. But what about as Manchester United's next manager? If you have been living under a rock, you will be unaware that Manchester United's managerial situation has become a little bit complex. Eric Ten Hag's time as Manchester United manager looks like it's coming to an end. But who is going to come in as the next boss? This is Forever United TV. Before we get into this video, welcome along. Please do give the video a like. Let's get as many likes as we possibly can. Make sure that you have subscribed also and hit that bell notification. 50% of you right now watching this video have not subscribed to the channel. The content is free and it's coming to you daily in depth on every single subject around Manchester United. Your beloved Manchester United. So please do subscribe and make sure that you get into the comments and have your say because that's what it's all about here on Forever United TV. What is happening with Manchester United? Well, stupid question. Everybody knows what's happening with Manchester United because everybody around the world wants to talk about Manchester United. The big thing at the moment is obviously the Manchester United manager, Eric Ten Hag. He is going to be fired by Manchester United's new structure in Ineos. We all know it's coming, so we might as well just deal with what's going to happen after that. A lot of talk has been made that United have prepared for this in putting Ruud van Nistelrooy and Rennie Haag in, let's just say assistant manager roles second to Eric Ten Hag at the start of this season just in case things went a little bit south with Eric as we know games into this season what if we had we've had 10 games this season already and Manchester United have only won three of them games it is pretty drastic right now for Manchester United and Ten Hag looks like he's getting his marching orders but what about Ruud van Nistelrooy what about him as Manchester United's next manager I'm going to tell you why this is a big big mistake and Manchester United should not be making Ruud van Nistelrooy Man United's next permanent manager now Obviously, as an interim, someone has to step in. And Manchester United have seen this scenario before. How many interim managers do you want to go through that United have had over the last decade? Let's go back. You had Ryan Giggs after David Moyes was sacked. Then you had, obviously, the scenario when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came in. He was an interim manager, first of all, then turned into a permanent manager. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was let go and his number two, Michael Carrick, took charge as an interim. Well, Manchester United then put in place another interim manager in Ralph Ranić, who didn't last long either and then eventually Manchester United settled on Eric Ten Hag and he has been Manchester United's manager for the last two seasons it looks like the scenario is coming around again Ruud van Nistelrooy is ready to make that step up and according to sources from ESPN Manchester United are comfortable with the situation if they need to move fast in getting rid of Ten Hag we know it's coming Ruud van Nistelrooy is going to be put in place and in charge of Manchester United on an interim basis it can only be interim Manchester United in deciding to put Van Nistelrooy in would not be the right decision we only have to go back to what happened with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Jumping the gun and making a decision on Solskjaer and giving him a permanent contract after he had a purple patch when first became interim. Everything looked rosy. The feel-good factor was back and then it went south for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer later down the line. Should United have committed to Solskjaer at that time? Was that a big mistake? A lot of people said it was. Van Nistelrooy, I don't think, has got anywhere near the right credentials to take over as Manchester United manager. It's as simple as that. You only have to look at 50 games as a first-team coach in professional football as his experience. Yes, he won the Dutch Cup and the Dutch Super Cup in his first season. He then resigned. That alone in, in Van Nistelrooy resigning off the back of success in his first full season as a proper manager tells you something that is very important. It's not a red flag. It's nothing against Ruud Van Nistelrooy. It's just a man who knows that he is not ready for that next stage. He needs to learn more. He quit while he was ahead and wanted to, let's just say, let, um, perfect his craft. That's what Van Nistelrooy is looking at. You only have to look at what he said when arriving at Manchester United and how he much how much he wanted to learn. He had a lot to learn and wanted to learn off Ten Hag. God knows why he wanted to learn off Ten Hag, but he has got an admiration for him and it has been well documented that he has. But he is learning fast about what it's like to work at a big football club. He has got experience at youth level as well, under-21s and under-19s, all at PSV. Now, if we're going to go off the blueprint of what's not worked before for Manchester United, yes, two-cut wins looks great in the Eredivisie. 
Ten Hag had won cups and league titles in the Eredivisie and obviously he's going to be fired over the next week by Manchester United. So if we're going to learn a lesson from before, the first one will be that not to look at the Eredivisie as any sort of benchmark for a manager that's got the right qualities to take over a club like Manchester United, the juggernaut that it actually is. A former player coming in and managing Manchester United, the fan base turning, the fan base caught between emotions and the reality of a manager failing, like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was, jumping the gun and giving an interim manager the job because he's had a purple patch and you've got that manager bounce. All of the mistakes from the last few years that Manchester United have made with managers are there for everybody to see. And I am convinced that Ineos would have done their research and known that this is a mistake that United have gone down before. Also, Jim Radcliffe has done is criticise deals that Manchester United were doing before, like transfers, overpaying for players that were probably at a certain age. I'm sure that behind the scenes they will be looking at the issues that United have had and multiple issues that United have had before. Van Nistelrooy to take over Ten Hag if he is fired this week, as expected, then that's fine. But Manchester United need to appoint a permanent manager this month. That's my opinion alone, and I want to get your comments on if United should bring in a manager very, very quickly and make sure that it is a permanent manager straight away rather than just testing the water, seeing if it works for Van Nistelrooy. Is that the right way to go? I don't think it is. I think it will be a big mistake. I don't think he's got anywhere near the right credentials to take over at that hot seat at Manchester United. Ten Hag probably had more experience and you could see why we did it. He was the next hot thing at the time, but Van Nistelrooy is nowhere near it. Neither is Rennie Hark. Everyone at United right now, I feel, uh, is underqualified to come forward and be permanent Manchester United manager. What I want to know from you is, who would you bring in as the next Manchester United manager? There are plenty of candidates out there, but Van Nistelrooy, for me, is not the one. He is a legend of this football club and will go down always a legend of this football club. And do you know what else he is? He's a very, very intelligent man who speaks multiple languages, knows where his stock is, knows what he needs to do before he becomes a Manchester United manager or a first-team manager at the highest level. You don't walk away from a position having, went, having been successful if you feel like you're ready. He knows he needs to learn more. Manchester United, I feel, thankfully, have got a structure in place that understands this. I've got a structure in place that knows that this has been a mistake the club has made before and won't make it again. I'm all for Van Nistelrooy stepping in as interim manager. But for Van Nistelrooy to see the season out, even if things start off well, I think United need to be making bigger decisions than this. This month, October, is when Manchester United need to appoint a new coach, a new head coach at this football club, and that isn't Van Nistelrooy. Get your comments in below, get your thoughts in below. Am I going over the top? Does he does he deserve a chance, Van Nistelrooy? I just look at what he's done and what he's achieved. It's not good enough for United. We have rode this train before. I don't think it's the right move, but you tell me. Get your comments in, give this video a like, and please, please do hit that subscribe button as well to make sure you miss out on none of the free content coming your way here on Forever United TV. I'm Adam. See you in the next one, everybody.